Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we've been taking a closer look at the works of mercy, first the corporal works and now the spiritual. Today, the first spiritual work of mercy, instructing the ignorant. This is one of those rare works of mercy that really does start at home. After all, you can't teach anyone anything until you yourself are willing to learn it first. And actually doing so takes work and careful study to say nothing of the ability to discern which sources are reliable and which ones aren't. Once you've got the information, however, the next step is to use it for teaching and training others. However, there's a reason why this work of mercy targets the ignorant specifically. When you get down to it, the word ignorant just means lacking in a certain kind of knowledge or awareness. So anytime a person lacks that information and you provide them with access to it, that would be a work of mercy. However, you should probably be careful about two things. First, that this is only really a work of mercy if the information being offered to them is something they should possess. To inform a person about the means to reconcile with God is a good exercise of mercy. To teach a child how to read is another good way to instruct the ignorant. However, teaching a terrorist how to bypass airport security is not a work of mercy, because they shouldn't have that information. The other thing to watch out for is people who don't want the information you have to offer. I'm not talking about people who don't believe it because of some additional ignorance about why they should. I mean people who know you have information but refuse to listen to it because they don't want that information. Those kinds of people can be pretty good at hiding their real intentions. Some of them love pretending to be curious by ending their sentences with question marks, but their intention is not really to ask questions. They have something they want to accomplish, or some point they want to make, and of course, listening to information that goes against that point doesn't help them to do that. Often, you'll find that these people will talk to you for a little while until they realize that you're not useful to them in making their point. That's when they'll either walk away or start getting really aggressive or defensive. Recognizing these behavior patterns can help keep us from telling too much to the wrong kinds of people. Telling deep truths to a person who doesn't want them is, at the very least, a waste of your time and their time. In fact, I'm almost certain that this is what Jesus meant by his words in Matthew 7:6. We should use words to make the truth of God understood, but we shouldn't waste those words talking to closed ears. However, if a person is interested in learning the truth, but doesn't know how, or if they're curious, but don't have enough time or skill to do all the research for themselves, instructing them on those truths can be an act of great mercy. Next, how can we counsel the doubtful? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.